If you want to work on Wall Street, you need to understand derivatives. Think you know what a derivative is? We got asked to explain, how does an interest rate swap work? All a derivative is, is a synthetic, meaning made up, instrument that either replicates the cash flows of some real security or creates market exposure that otherwise isn't available in an existing security. People use derivatives all the time for various reasons. Ease of liquidity, precision in matching up risk, and preservation of balance sheet being some of the most common ones. You might hear terms like interest rate swaps in the news and think these are these complex, risky investments. Essentially, all an interest rate swap is, is a synthetic bond. Let me explain. If I'm an investor who wants to go out and buy a bond, let's say 100 million 10-year US Treasury, I call up a bank and ask them to offer me 100 million 10s. How do I come up with that $100 million to pay for these bonds? Typically, it's one of two ways. I can either break open my piggy bank and find $100 million lying around, or I can go to the repo market and finance that trade by pledging the bonds themselves as collateral for a short-term loan. The rate on that loan is typically the general collateral rate, or GC, and it's an overnight low-risk loan rate where my credit as a borrower is backed by the default risk-free collateral of the US Treasury I've posted. So when I take a step back, my purchase of these treasuries is actually a net of two cash flows. I've got the fixed rate coupon payment I am receiving from my 10-year US Treasury and the floating overnight GC rate I am using to finance the purchase. The difference between these two rates is my cost of carry on the trade. Now, this can be a balance sheet intensive operation. So what if I didn't want to actually scrounge up $100 million this way, but I still wanted to replicate those cash flows? I would enter into a receive fixed interest rate swap. All this interest rate swap is, is a synthetic bond funded at SOFR. I receive a fixed rate coupon and pay out a floating funding rate. The amounts of each of those payments are based off of a notional amount of $100 million. It's a hypothetical imaginary amount of cash that would have been exchanged up front were I actually buying or selling a physical security. But in most cases, no cash changes hands up front with a swap. Most swaps, not all, but most are par swaps, meaning the net present value of all the future cash flows is balanced at zero day one. The second we put the trade on, the market will move up or down, and suddenly this swap will have a new net present value, just like the price of our bond would change the second we buy or sell it. There are many nuances to how and why these swaps trade that we will cover in future videos. So please like and follow to see more, and comment below with any questions.